We are now recording. Great, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, today is Friday, October 7th, 2022. This is a special meeting of the Executive Committee of the Board of Trustees of the State Bar of California. I will call us to order at 12.04 and ask the Secretary to take the roll, please. Chen? Here. Cisneros? Here. No. Here. Sol? Present. Stallings? Present. No. Oh, thank you. I didn't see Brandon, thank you. And Duran? Present. You have a quorum. Okay, thank you, Madam Secretary. As I mentioned, this is a special meeting of the board executive committee, uh, which means that members of the public who would like to offer public comment are invited to do so on the items listed on the uh, special meeting agenda. I see we have uh, folks other than board members in attendance. So if anybody would like to offer public comment on either of the agenda items, listed in our posted agenda, please indicate by raising your hand using the function on Zoom. We'll just give a couple seconds for folks to do that if they care to. Okay, um, looks like we're ready to get into the business of item 1A. Madam Secretary, would you please uh, share with the executive committee what we need to do here? <laughs> yes, thank you. Um, so under Bagley Keene, a special meeting may be held to consider proposed legislation Government Code Section 11125.4, Section A2, adoption of a rule would be considered a form of legislation. In order to begin today's special meeting, the Board Executive Committee must first make a finding in open session that the delay necess necessitated by providing notice 10 days prior to a meeting, one, would impose a substantial hardship on the committee, or two, immediate action is required to protect the public interest. Government Code Section 11125.4, Section C. The finding must set forth specific facts that constitute the hardship to the committee or the impending harm to the public interest. Government Code Section 11125.4, Section C. The finding must be adopted by two thirds vote of the committee, Government Code Section 11125.4, Section C. If less than two thirds of the committee is present, a unanimous vote of the members present is required. Government Code Section 11125.4, Section C. Failure to adopt the finding terminates the meeting. Government Code Section 11125.4, Section C. The proposed findings demonstrating that immediate action is required to protect the public interest are as follows. Okay, hopefully everybody can see the findings as uh, posted onto the uh, shared screen by the secretary. Please proceed. I think you're looking for a motion. Would you I like am. us to uh, reshare? Yes. So let me just confirm that each member of the executive committee had uh, the time to review those findings uh, and whether you have any questions about uh, any of the facts stated therein, you need any further information or clarification. And if there are no questions and there's no discussion, we will take a motion on the resolution that is uh, up on the screen to make the findings to continue with the special meeting. So moved. Second. Thank you, motion by Trustee Stahl, second by Trustee Stallings. We have a vote, please. Chen? Yes. Cisneros? Aye. No? Aye. So? Aye. Stallings? Aye. Duran? Aye. Six Thank eyes, you, zero so, uh, nays, and motion carries. I see that uh, one of our attendees has raised his hand, uh, presumably to offer public comment. Uh, Mr. Hill, you did not raise your hand prior, so um, I'm going to assume, or, or I'll let you tell us whether you'd like to offer public comment on the sec second item 
uh, on the board's agenda. Once your mic is uh, activated, you'll have three minutes to offer public comments. Thank you for joining us today. Okay, Mr. Hill, we're ready. Uh, Mr. Hill, your microphone has been unmuted. Thank you, <laughs> I appreciate that. Okay, so um, actually the, the meeting starts uh, when you guys vote for the resolution, otherwise it would have been ended. I can do public comment on the first item uh, because you didn't actually distribute the item in advance to the public, which is a requirement of the code. So I, I, and I asked for it two days ago. So to me, you're already in violation. The second item on the agenda, uh, quite frankly, I, I mean, I don't know what to say about that. Because I, again, I think this meeting is ultra virus. The requirement is that you do distribute something to the public and something to the press, and it can't be added afterwards. It's very specific. I actually sent that information to you guys in advance, but you guys have not fulfilled that requirement. I don't see my okay, time, but I give you time to respond. Yeah. <laughs> sure, I, 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 appreciate, I appreciate that. I don't know that we're necessarily gonna respond. I'll look to the general counsel to see if there's anything she would like to add. However, you did, uh, you did and I'm assuming see the information that went up on the screen uh, for the trustees to review and for the members of the public to review. So um, I can't read in 25 your... seconds and no human can. No, reviewing that tape, we will very clearly see that there's no human who could comprehend that. There's just not a, okay, there's so no I'm ability. Not gonna, Mr. Hill, I'll, I'll do respect. I, I'm not gonna engage in a, in a back and forth with you. You've, you've made your point and certainly it's part of the record and we again, appreciate you uh, taking the time to address us. If there's anything that the general counsel would like to add to this, uh, I'll give you the opportunity now. If not, then we'll move on to item B. Chair, I just would like to confirm that the agenda was posted and materials were presented in accordance and in compliance with the Bagley Keen Act. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Dobkin. Okay, that will take us to item uh, B. Mr. Hill, you, you suggested that you didn't have any public comment on item B, so uh, I will give anybody else in the attendee list a chance to raise their hand if they'd like to offer public comment on item B. And seeing none, I will ask Mr. DeSantorum to uh, please let the board know what it is we need to do here today. Randy DeFantorum, Office of Professional Competence. Item B is presented for your action to adopt a staff request for an amendment to proposed new rule of court 9.8.5. Rule 9.8.5 is the enabling rule of court that would authorize the state bar's establishment of the client trust account protection program. After the September board meeting, staff learned that the version of proposed rule of court that was attached to the September agenda item unfortunately omitted one of the revisions that was implemented when the rule was sent out for a second round of public comment. As you may recall, the staff recommended action that was taken by the board at the September meeting was to adopt the second round public comment version of this rule with no further changes. The omission of the one revision was inconsistent with that intended action. The revision that was omitted was language in paragraph A2 that addresses how client trust account information must be registered. Specifically, instead of providing that trust account information must be registered in a manner prescribed by the state bar for such reporting, paragraph A2, as attached to the September item, use the language from the first public comment version, which instead provided that such information must be registered in an online form on a secure system provided by the state bar for such reporting. In addition, in preparing this agenda item, staff also reconsidered this language and is recommending a slight modification to clarify the original intent of that change that was made with the second public comment version. The recommended modification is to add the phrase that will securely maintain the information submitted so that the requirement would say that client trust account information must be registered 
in a manner prescribed by the state bar for such reporting that will securely maintain the information submitted. As explained in the agenda item, the change that was made to paragraph A2 at the point of the second public comment version was to give the state bar flexibility in establishing the reporting system. It was not intended as any derogation of the importance of data security. Instead, it was believed that this flexibility would permit ongoing improvements to any state bar system used to securely collect and store the trust account information. Uh, for example, the ability to consider options for registering information using something other than an online form, if that other method would have better security or efficiency. Uh, so let me just stop here and make sure I've been clear about the staff recommendation. The recommendation is to amend paragraph A2 of the enabling rule of court 9.8.5 to restore the language that was inadvertently omitted, namely, quote, in a manner prescribed by the state bar for such reporting, unquote, and to append the phrase, quote, that will securely maintain the information submitted, end quote, uh, to clarify exactly what we were doing when we made that change. And so I'll stop there. I'll see if Steve has anything to add or if there's any questions. Um, I can go on and talk about some of the more details in the short report, including a comment we got from the Orange County Bar Association. But I think I have laid out exactly the, the, the ask that staff has for action. Thank you, Randy. Mr. Moa, do you have anything to add? I'm happy to respond to any questions or concerns, but I don't have anything to add at this time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Uh, members of the executive committee, any questions or comments? Anything further from staff? No. Okay. All right. Seeing none, is there a motion? Is there a resolution for the board to consider and a motion on that resolution? This is Stalin, so I'll move it. Hi, Lynn, I'll Thank second. You, Mr. Vice Chair. Thank you, Trustee Chen. Can we have a vote on the motion, please? Chen? Yes. Cisneros? Aye. No? Aye. Sol? Aye. Stallings? Aye. Duran? Aye. Six ayes, zero nays. The motion carries. Thank you, Madam Secretary. That takes us to, uh, that's the conclusion of our business. If there are no uh, further items, I wanna thank the members of the executive committee for making yourselves available on short notice um, and members of the staff for catching that inadvertent error and allowing us to fix it in time so that it can be properly considered by the Supreme Court this month. Thank you, everyone. We will adjourn at uh, 12, 17. Have a good thank weekend. Thank you. Take care, bye-bye.